Hello there, you extraordinarily gorgeous person. You, this is Chris from Techspert, and I'm here with the OnePlus 7T Pro, ready to get it all unboxed, set up for your viewing delight. Of course, this isn't just the phone box, this is the media pack, so it'll have a bunch of accessories and other bits in that you'll also be able to grab along with the phone at launch. And oh my god, this is a funky little affair. Let's see what we've actually got in here. First of all, a big fat reviewer's guide. I really like the OnePlus reviewer's guides. They're basically almost like little odd booklets. Uh, as you can see, they've got nice little illustrations, very nice. Nicely designed, tells you all about the various features, so you can uh, zoom right in on, on your lady friend's face, you can spy on bugs, all kinds of great stuff. And I really, really like the design of the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro box itself as well, if I can actually wedge it on out there. Very different from the, uh, the standard, slightly boring white efforts of yesteryear, you've got this massive red, almost phallic box now, lovely stuff. And in this little compartment, it looks like we have cases, because OnePlus always like to send lots of cases uh, with their review samples. That's always good to see as well. And of course, the design of these doesn't really change up too much either. You've got various uh, textured efforts. That's just a selection of the official ones that you can get at launch. Of course, it's been a very strange launch, the OnePlus 7T series. It's been a staggered launch. We had the OnePlus 7T originally just over a week ago. Now we've got the OnePlus 7T Pro. And also launched at the same time as this was the OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren edition as well. So there's actually three handsets in all. The 7T and the 7T Pro are actually very similar. There's a, a lot less difference between them than there was with the 7 and the 7 Pro, the previous generation, uh, because they brought a lot of that Pro functionality, such as the 90 hertz screen and the rest to the standard 7T. So there's the actual phone itself in all of its glory. Let's see what we actually get in this little slip. I'd imagine it'll be much the same as the stuff you got in the 7T box. I did do a full unboxing of that, so go check that out if you haven't seen it already. You want to see me pull yet more tech out of a cardboard box. So yeah, it's basically exactly the same stuff you get some lovely oneplus stickers uh, slap those on whatever you fancy and a nice invitation letter as well oneplus does like having its little uh, little letters from mr pete lau oh i've got to bugger that up haven't i and there we have it i'm not going to read the entire thing but uh if you want to actually check it out yourself just do a freeze frame job done there is the phone itself we'll chuck that to the side to see exactly what else you get in this lovely box as you see there, you do get a uh, transparent cover bundled in there as well. So if you're too cheap to actually spring for one of the uh, the proper nice cases, you can just use that instead. Of course, if you spend this amount of money on a Pro, you probably want to spend a little bit extra just to get a nice case for it as well, because this does look a bit like a prophylactic, to be perfectly honest. You get your Porky Pin device. Lovely stuff. I do like the OnePlus One. Very nice indeed. And you get your bit of warp charge uh, plug adapter and uh, bright red kit as usual, a bit type C of course. More on that warp charge tech in a bit, and that is everything you get in the box, so as you see, lots of great stuff. And now for the interesting part, the ruddy phone itself. So if you have closely followed the OnePlus 7T, which as I mentioned was uh, launched a couple of weeks ago, there's not a massive amount of difference between the design of the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro. This is the Here's Blue, I believe it's called, effort. As you can see there, it's a nice bit of frosted glass. I like this matte finish, of course your previous OnePlus handsets all had a matte or a glossy uh, finish. Well, see, with the OnePlus 70 and the OnePlus 70 Pro, it's all matte. And I like that more because it shows up smudges and stuff a lot less uh, clearly. It's good news if you've got particularly oily fingers, like I seem to do, uh, then it doesn't show up those smudges and scuffs quite so uh, so obviously. And I really like that sheen as well. It just, when it catches the light, looks absolutely lovely. It seems to be sort of darker up towards the top, a bit lighter as you progress down the smartphone itself. And of course, it's got that lovely curvy finish as well. So it just fits nicely in the hand, despite the fact it's a bit of a monster. Monster. We've got Gorilla Glass 5 around back and 6 up front, uh, so that'll just help to protect it from scratches and general wear and tear. And uh, as usual, it's water resistant as well, although it doesn't have an official IP rating. Right, so we've got some gas in the tank, so we're going to get the OnePlus 70 Pro all set up and then we'll tour the hardware and the software, usual T's and C's. What actually happens if you hit disagree? It just takes you back. It's like, what's the point? <laughs> You're going to have to agree if you want to actually use the smartphone you just spent several hundred pounds on. And we are in setup complete, nice and straightforward. Um, now, first of all, of course, one of the major differences between OnePlus 70 Pro Edition and the standard OnePlus 70 is the fact that you don't have that little nipple notch intruding up top. It is, of course, a pop-up selfie camera. As for the display itself, well, it's bigger than the standard OnePlus 70 and it's got the same specs as the original OnePlus 7 Pro. So it's a 6.67 inch, a nice big full view 
display as you can see there. It's a fluid AMOLED so it runs at either 60 or 90 hertz. Uh, you can actually change that in the display settings as well. If we dive into there, as you can see there, screen refresh rate set at 90 hertz, but you can choose to bump it down to 60 hertz if you just want to save on your battery life. I'm going to leave it that nice fluid 90 hertz. It's great stuff. Uh, and as for the resolution as well, that's a bump over the standard OnePlus 7T. It's a Quad HD Plus 3120 by 1440 as you can see there. Uh, but you can have it uh, either auto switch between Quad HD and Full HD depending on what you're actually up to or you can just stick it on basic Full HD if you want to save again a bit of battery life. So as you can see there you've got your nice full view finish which is perfect for enjoying a bit of uh, movie action, your TV shows, all the rest of it. And it's also once again a stereo speaker output as well so if we just boost up the volume. Nice and loud. Love is the strongest thing in the world. And yeah, once again, you get the output from that top speaker and the bottom speaker as well, and it sports Dolby Atmos and everything too. But yeah, sadly, no uh, headphone jack action on there, getting increasingly around these premium devices. And as you can see, they're nice and bright as well. That's not even anywhere near the maximum brightness, which is around the 1000 nits mark. Super, super bright, so you'll have no problem seeing what's going on, even on a bright, sunshiny day. And for the likes of your Netflix and everything, you've got full HDR10 support as well, so you can do all of that. Lovely stuff. And of course, one of the features that OnePlus introduced in its smartphones last year was the in-display fingerprint sensor. And you've once again got that here on the 70 Pro, unsurprisingly, with quite a nifty animation there, as you can see. It's once again an optical scanner, just like the 70, the 6T before it and everything as well. And uh, apparently OnePlus has updated it, so it's now more accurate than ever before. Uh, so it reckons even when your hands are a little bit dry, a little bit oily, mine seem to veer between the two quite violently, um, it should still manage to pick you up no problem. So far, touch wood. Seems nice and nippy and responsive, as you can see there. And of course, you've got full support for face unlock as well, using that pop-up camera. So just allow, and then hopefully the camera will actually pop up. Yep, yeah. uh, and then just got to move my head around a bit until my face is all mapped up. Face not detected. Oh, come on, I'm not that f ugly. Hooray, success. And then as you can see there, you can choose to have the OnePlus 7T Pro either pause until you swipe to unlock the device or unlock as soon as it detects your gorgeous face. So I'm going to have uh, auto unlock because it just makes it nice and quick and easy. And then we'll give that a go. So hit the power button. Camera pops up, as you can see, super quick. Absolutely no delay, hesitation whatsoever, boom. The actual software on the OnePlus 7T Pro is pretty much identical to the software you'll find on the OnePlus 7T. It's once again Android 10, the latest version of Android, straight out of the box, which is great to see, of course. And you get a nice bit of Oxygen OS version 10.0 as well, the latest version of OnePlus's own overlay. So you've got all the standard features, you've got a nice bit of shelf action, giving you fast access to all of your favorite peeps and apps. As you can see here, you've got the latest Android 10 gesture support as well. OnePlus has actually overridden its own gesture support by the looks of it and just replaced it purely with the Android stuff. So if you dive into an app, you can go back with a quick swipe from the sides. I really like that. I prefer it to just the swiping up from the left or right edge, which is what you used to do uh, for the old OnePlus method. And of course, you can swipe up and pause just to access all of your open apps and just swipe up and not pause to get back home again. Nice and simple. And you've got all of the usual great OnePlus features on there as well, the usual gesture support as well. Of course, you've got lots of quick gestures on there. You can quickly turn on the camera with the double tap of that power button. If we dive on into the apps, you've got the OnePlus game space in there as well, which I'm a big fan of. It blocks all those pesky notifications while you're getting your PUBG on or whatever. And uh, you've got the likes of the Fnatic mode on there as well. That was previously a, uh, a OnePlus 7 Pro efforts come on to the 70 Pro as well. As you can see, that can give you a performance boost and everything if you need it. But to be honest, you probably shouldn't need that for several years because the OnePlus 70 Pro packs the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset. On the other phone that's found in right now is the Asus ROG phone too, a dedicated gaming machine. So this thing should be silky, silky smooth, especially with that 90 hertz refresh rate support as well. And of course, you can uh, actually change the refresh rate if you want. You can knock it back down to 60 hertz if you like to just save a bit of battery life. But to be honest, it's just so silky smooth. Um, that navigation and everything, definitely, definitely love it to bits. So yeah, same specs as far as the performance goes here on the Pro compared with the OnePlus 7T. You've got 8 gigs of RAM on there as well. You'll have to upgrade to the McLaren edition if you fancy 12 gigs of RAM. Seems a little bit excessive, to be perfectly honest. The 8 gigs should do absolutely fine no matter what you're trying to do on this thing. However, one area that has been upgraded for the 7T Pro edition is the battery life. You've now got 4,085 milliamp cell stuffed inside. It's a little bit bigger capacity than the OnePlus 7T. 
Of course, you've still got the Warp Charge 30T support, which will give you a full charge in around an hour or so and 50% charge in about sort of 20 minutes, which is absolutely nuts. You've got the likes of the battery saver on there and stuff if you need it as well. And before I forget as well, just dive into the storage. There's only one storage option here on the 70 Pro Edition, and that's 256 gigabytes. There's no micro SD memory card support, unfortunately, so you are stuck with just that. But let's face it, that should last you quite some time. And of course, you've got full support for UFS 3.0 as well. So nice nippy storage, so really, really fast for loading up apps, copying off files, things like that. Which brings us nicely onto the camera tech. And here on the Pro Edition, it's a very similar triple lens setup to the standard OnePlus 7T. The only lens which has really changed is that telephoto shooter. So once again, you get a 48 megapixel primary lens, f1.6, built-in optical image stabilization, and Sony's IMX586 sensor. That's backed by an ultra-wide angle lens, 16 megapixel, and a telephoto lens. This time it's 8 megapixel, and it actually offers a three times optical zoom compared with the two times optical zoom of the standard 70. And the other main difference is the fact that it's actually got built-in optical image stabilization as well, just like the primary lens, which is something that was missing from the standard 70 phone. So let's check out that camera app. You can, of course, just uh, tap the old icon there, or you can do a double push of that power button uh, once you've set it up in the settings, like so. And the camera app is your standard OnePlus effort, basically. You start up in auto mode. You can, of course, quickly switch to the ultra-wide angle or the telephoto with just a quick tap of these little icons here, boom. As you can see there, full three times optical zoom into my never settle water bottle, always on brand. You can quickly switch between different modes uh, with just a little tap down here. So you've got your video mode, 4K 60 FPS, it maxes out at. And of course, got a bit of portrait mode action as well. And for the portrait mode, you can either use the standard primary lens or the ultra wide angle, as you can see there. So you can pull right out if you're trying to shoot a uh, portrait shot of a good bunch of chums. Got the usual nightscape mode as well. It's actually been upgraded here for the OnePlus 70 and the OnePlus 70 Pro. Uh, so it should produce really nice, gorgeously balanced shots. I will, of course, be bringing you my full OnePlus 70 Pro camera review. So stay tuned for that to see if that really is the case. And of course, now you can also use the ultra wide angle lens for that nightscape mode as well, which is great to see. And then you've got the usual bunch of bonus features, including a full pro mode, which is always handy. You can shoot in either JPEG or RAW format. And you just have a play around with the settings, get it exactly the way you like it, and actually see the results right there on the display at the same time. And of course, you've got time lapse, you've got a nice bit of slow motion, your panorama, all of the usual bonus features. And if we just swap around to that selfie camera, just have to wait a second for it to pop up. There we have it. Uh, it's the same 8 megapixel effort as it was found on the original OnePlus 7 Pro, basically. So it should take nice uh, snaps in pretty much any conditions. You've got the usual portrait shenanigans, which as you can see there, just latches onto your face. And does a reasonably good job of the edge detection and everything, at least it will do if it's the same as the 7 Pro. Unfortunately, no nightscape mode or anything like that for the portrait snapper though. And there you have it, my pretties. That is the OnePlus 7T Pro unboxed and toured. So as I say, stay tuned for my full in-depth review of this bad boy. The camera tests and everything will be coming as well. And I'm going to be doing some comparisons with some of the biggest and best smartphones of 2019. So check that out. If you want to see how it stacks up to its biggest rivals, I'm going to hopefully do the likes of the S10 Plus and a few of the others and probably the standard OnePlus 7 Pro, which uh, launched six months ago as well, to see if this is a serious upgrade or not. So are you tempted by the OnePlus 70 Pro? What's your initial thoughts, reactions, emotions after seeing it in the flesh-ish? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts and bang those down below. And please do plug subscribe and ding the notification bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone. Love you.